Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shivastav and welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, we write Java code solution for question 1 of ISC 2023 Computer Science Practicals Boards paper, which is this question. So before we begin, it is a request to please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only one or two are subscribed and a subscription is very important. So please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So this is the question one that came in ISC 2023 computer science practical boards paper. All right. So take a minute and give this question a reading. So I have taken this question. I have copied this question from a third party source. So the question was definitely about composite magic numbers that you have to enter M and N and find the number of composite magic numbers in between this range. Okay. So I am going to write public class. Okay. Because this is my name of the file. I write a main public static void main string args okay all right so i need to check if an integer is a composite magic number a composite magic number is both composite and a magic number we know what are composite numbers numbers which are not prime are composite numbers or the other definition for a composite number is it is a number that has more than two factors okay so i am going to write static boolean is composite takes an integer n okay then i write static boolean is magic int n okay and then i write static boolean is magic composite int n okay so a number is magic composite if it is both composite okay and magic okay all right so as i told you composite numbers are the ones which are not prime so since we are more used to writing functions for a prime number, so I'm going to write static boolean is prime, takes an integer n, okay. A prime, an integer is a prime number if it is only divisible by 1 and itself. If any of these values divides n completely, I return false, finally it return true, okay. And a number is composite if it is not is prime, okay. So my is composite method is done. Then I have to check if it is a magic number, the eventual sum of digits is equal to 1. So 28, 2 plus 8, then 10, then 1 plus 0. So you have to continuously keep adding the digits of the number as long as the number is greater than or equal to 10. Okay. So I say while n is less greater than or equal to 10. Okay. As long as n is greater than or equal to 10, I keep adding its digits. So I say int digits sum is 0. Okay. I need to add each digit of this n. So I convert n to string, I iterate this string, I pick up each character, which is basically a digit and add it to digit sum. For int i equal to 0, i less than, I have to create a string n, str is blank plus n, okay, n str dot len gth, i plus plus, you get the digit as n str dot char at, at index i minus 0, okay. This is the standard way to convert a character that contains a digit to its corresponding integer value. Okay, because when you do this, this is basically subtracting ASCII values. You are subtracting the ASCII value of this digit with the ASCII value of zero. So you get the difference, which is basically the value of the digit. Okay, the integer value of the digit. So you say digits sum plus equal to digit. Okay, and then you set n to digit sum. Okay, because we are continuously adding the digits of n. All right. So we do 8 plus 2 which becomes 10 and we set n to 10. Then we do 1 plus 0, we set n to 1 and this loop will break when n is a single digit. Okay. And I'll return n equal to 1. Okay. So if finally when you do all this processing, you keep adding the digits of the integer. Okay. If you finally get 1, then it is a magic number. Alright. And it is magic composite if it is both composite and magic. So my helper functions are done. Okay. I need to accept m and n so i say scanner scanner equal to new scanner system dot in okay i'll have to do import java dot util dot scanner okay all right and i do scanner dot close you don't do scanner dot close it does not matter just just a habit to avoid warnings okay so read the value of m okay and whenever I'm solving ISC boards practical papers, my idea is 
to replicate the input format and output format. So the input format is m equal to you enter the value of m press enter. You then print n equal to and then the user types the value of n and presses enter. Okay. So I am going to prompt system dot out dot print. Okay. M equal to. Okay. And then I say int m is scanner dot next. Okay. Similarly, I read the value of n. Okay. I do n equal to and I say int n equal to. Okay. Validate the values of m and so m has to so if m is greater than n display the error message invalid input okay so if m greater than n okay system dot out dot print ln invalid input and you return okay so make this incentive okay all right so we have taken input the values m and n and validated it now we have to print composite matching integers are so i print the message system dot out dot print composite magic integers are okay this is the message right the composite magic integers are okay all right and you see i am keeping this system dot out dot print because after this message is printed i want to print the composite magic numbers in the same line and then change the line to print the frequency okay so i say int num composite magic numbers so this is a pretty large variable name. You can take a smaller one if you want. I iterate from m to less than equal to n. All right? Both m and n are inclusive. Okay? So if this value i is a composite magic number, I print this and I increment the count. Okay? So currently, I am not going to do this comma formatting. I am just going to print the composite magic number, add a space, and then print the rest of them. Okay, I'll do this comma thing at the end of the video. Okay, so if is magic composite n i sorry. Okay, you say you increment number of composite magic numbers by one and then you print this number which is i plus space. Okay, and when finally all of them are printed, you change the line. All right, and then print the frequency. Okay, so you say system dot out dot print ln in this case. Okay, you say frequency of composite magic numbers is this thing. Frequency of composite magic numbers is, and you print. All right, and that's it. That's your code. Okay, so let me compile this. So clear. Okay, compiles. So let me run Java IC question one. Okay, so 40 and 100. So m equal to 40, n equal to 100. So composite magic integers are 46, 55, 64, 82, 91, 100, and frequency is 6, which is correct. Okay, let me clear and run again. Okay, for 1210 and 1300. 1210 and 1300. Okay, 1216, 5216187028. Okay. Frequency copy number is 8. Alright. 120 and 97 should give you invalid input. So 120 and 97 should give you invalid input. Alright. So our output works. Okay. So a few things that I need to tell here further is this comma formatting. But let me first tell you that you can use this entire code in this function itself you don't need this okay so numbers which are prime are not composite and the numbers which are composite are not prime so basically if you find a factor apart from one and itself that divides n completely you return two because it is a composite number else you return false if you find no other factor apart from one and itself okay so doing the reverse of what we did in is prime okay so we don't need is prime now. okay I'll clear, compile, run, okay, 40 and 100, okay, same output, all right. Then how do we print this comma thing output, okay, comma and a space. So I'm going to prepare this entire set of integers into a string, okay, and then print the string. So I'm going to say string composite magic numbers, okay, with a lowercase c is a blank. 
okay and every time i find a composite magic number i don't print it directly i add it i append it to the string okay plus equal to this value i plus a comma and a space i don't need this now all right so instead of printing each composite magic integer okay and then adding a space after it i am appending all of them in a single string okay and a common space between two integers to be printed okay but when this loop completes you will have an extra comma space at the end so if i just print it like this okay system dot out dot print ln composite magic numbers okay you get one comma space extra at the end okay so i say 40 100 you get this extra okay so to remove that i say remove the last comma space okay so you say composite magic numbers is composite magic numbers dot substring starting with the first index till third last index which is composite magic numbers dot length minus 2 okay removing the last two characters okay now when i run this i won't get this extra comma and space so clear compile run 40 100. so i don't get extra comma this and this is the output as shown here okay again i am not sure what was the exact output format in the question paper but this is what i saw in the third party source from where i took this question so i'm producing the output the way it is if the output was actually different please let me know in the comments i'll fix it okay so this was the solution for question one of ic 2023 computer science practical boards paper and i hope this was helpful and i will be adding the solutions to other two questions of 2023 computer science boards practical paper as well so please subscribe to this channel click on the bell icon so that when I add the next videos, you get a notification, all right? And I have solved a lot many other IC computer science practical boards paper. I have made an entire separate playlist for that. It is on my YouTube channel. Please check it out. There are tons of videos to help you with your practical boards paper. And I will also add the link for the code in the description of this video. You can check it out, all right? So please let me know in the comments if there was anything not clear to you in this video or do you have or if you have any doubts. And you can always let me know in the comments if there is a question you want me to solve or if there is a concept you want to discuss. Thank you.